Mark, hi, how are you? Jerry. Your first time having a chat to the media since you started your new job, so how would you reflect on your appointment and your first few weeks, months as the League of Ireland Director? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a month already, has it? Uh, it seem, seems quite hectic uh, in everything that's gone on in the last month, so um, I mean, it, it's been exciting. First of all, it's been great to have football back, which is the main thing that we've, we've all missed uh, since, Ma- uh, since last March, so, so that's been great. Um, with the League of Ireland, both men's league, the women's league, the underage leagues, we're all back in, in full swing now with the exception of a, a few games we've obviously lost over the last couple of weeks, so so that's been uh, the main goal and from my point of view, um, you know, speaking to people, building relationships and, and getting involved in as much as I, as I can over the last month has, has been the main goal, so it's flown by really. I'm sure if you could have picked a time to start a new job it wouldn't be in the middle of a pandemic with all of the challenges that face all the clubs, the players and the FAI. For you, what are the main things that have been on your plate since you started and trying to keep football on at some in some capacity with albeit nobody at the games? Yeah, well look, I mean COVID obviously has been a challenge as you said, but I think there's a lot more challenge in industries than football uh, in COVID as well. So so I don't envy a lot of particularly the frontline workers who've who've been dealing with this over the last few months. So from our point of view it's it's been an exciting part of the challenge because we're looking to get people back playing football which is great and people watching football uh, through the watch LOI platform which is, has been great so I think it, you know the main challenges from from my point of view or the main things we've been trying to work on is continue a lot of the the good work that uh, the club's done during the period um, that that we had no football so from sort of March to July time there was a lot of various different working groups set up looking at various aspects of the League of Ireland and uh, getting a chance to, to sort of bring that work together now will be one of my main goals uh, over the next year um, so you know finding out what the work that everybody has done so far having a look at the final presentations that have come together uh, has been a big chunk of, of what I've been doing over the last month and, and that's been really exciting and it's filled me with a lot of hope for the future because there's been uh, some fantastic work being done. And one thing on the agenda in recent times has been the government's rules about the attendances and we thought it might go from 200 to 500 and it's now gone to literally only the people who have to be at the match at the match and there's been you know lots of I suppose fans and people from clubs wondering about when that might change I know public health comes first from your point of view some of the games you've been to we all feel very safe working in the grounds do you think at some time soon we could have some supporters back in? I think look, we're very much going to be guided by public health, as you've mentioned already, and the government guidelines are there uh, primarily to, to ensure that we bring an end to COVID as soon as possible in the country and uh, keeping everybody safe is, is the main goal. But yeah, certainly I, I did enjoy uh, the games I was at over the last couple of weeks. You guys have been able to be there at the weekend as media. Uh, my, my role means I wasn't. Uh, so so I was delighted to have the, the Watch LOI platform to watch games and the various streams that have been on. But uh, look, we'll, hope, we'll be hopeful that, that at some point in the near future we'll uh, get an increase in attendance again uh, and when we do get to it the main thing is that uh, all our clubs continue to uh, abide by the protocols from our point of view and, and uh, the government guidelines as well which I have to say from, from any of the games I was at and I know you commented on it, Jamie yourself a couple of weeks ago the clubs have been fantastic in what they've done so far and how they've embraced that challenge uh, particularly with a lot of volunteers around the clubs who've, who've had to step in and take on the role of COVID compliance officer and uh, ensuring that everybody who's entering the ground has been temperature checked and filling in forms I mean that's very difficult on top of all the other challenges that the clubs have had had so far so I really want to commend them on, on what they've done uh, and the good work they've done to ensure that uh, thus far we haven't had any uh, outbreak through football and that's why we wanted to continue. And in terms of the reason we're here is because the Watch LOI half season pass has is, is just been announced. It has been a really fantastic service for people who aren't lucky enough like us journalists who've been able to be at some of the matches too um, and I've really enjoyed the fact that all the Premier Games are on across three days at different times and I know managers and players have enjoyed being able to watch other teams and stuff. Do you see moving forward, and we don't know what's going to happen, but when crowds are allowed back in, that this could be a way forward, that games are streamed and that games are at different times and that we don't have like three games, for example, in Dublin on a Friday at the same time, for example? Yeah, well, I mean, what the, the future brings here, we'll, be, we'll very much we'll, we'll research everything at the end of the season. We'll have a look at the uh, uh, all the outputs that have, have come from the end of the season, and then we'll we'll look towards the future. But this year was very much about a trial period. Um, streaming is something that we've we spoke about in the association for uh, a number of years, and how we could get more TV exposure for the League of Ireland. And uh, it's obviously come at a, a, an opportune time at the minute at this time, and, and the main goal being that we could provide something, particularly for the season ticket holders and the loyal fans. Uh, who couldn't get to games 
uh, and that they weren't going to miss out on their club's action which was, was the main goal um, secondly if we can do that by being able to provide some revenue for the clubs to, to make up for some of the shortfall and gate receipts that's obviously a, a huge bonus and then the third part is if we have something that's now a sustainable long term project then it's going to be a huge success and um, certainly from everything that's happened so far we're, we're heading in the right direction for that